So I ended up getting my headset from that girl. It doesn't fucking work. As you can see, I'm still wearing my own headset. And we just got RPG. What was wrong with the headset? Well, it just sounded like it was blown the fuck out. Like more blown out than Miley's, you know. It sounded like somebody tried to take a sledgehammer to the speakers. It just sounded like fucking terrible. Even with this old headset, it just, it sounds full. It sounds clean. There is bass, not too much bass, just a perfect amount of bass. Mix amp, just the mix amp making it, bringing it all together. Perfect. It just sounded like shit. The earphones are just absolutely blown out. Now I completely understand why the fuck she just ripped me off. I know a lot of people now are going to say, well, dude, just send it back. You just spent money buying those. She just ripped you off, bro. And it's just kind of like you know what i don't even fucking care dude here just take i don't fucking care i'm just so disappointed that i just didn't get the headset it's not even so much about the money dude like i'm just so disappointed i was so happy when i looked at them I even had these cute little ear cup thingies from sword art online on there I thought it was absolutely adorable i would have kept them on there too girliest headset in the world even smelled like girl smelled like perfume even the ear things smelled like shampoo i wasn't initially like trying to like smell the inside of the earphones i'm just saying i picked the headset up and i was like this thing smells good yeah so that thing didn't work but then i had a bright idea i was like okay the only thing that's wrong with this headset at the moment is that this plastic piece up here, or is it right back here? Yeah, it's back here. The plastic piece is just snapped, okay? And that's why I have tape around it. I thought that maybe, well, since these little plastic pieces are just held together with a few screws and stuff, I thought that maybe, hey, why don't I just take it off of this broken headset that was just sent to me, take that plastic piece, and then put it on my old headset, and then basically it's brand new. Well, it just wasn't that simple, actually. It really wasn't at all. It was supposed to be simple, but it's just not. I managed to take the- I'm fucking showing you guys. I took the thing apart okay so like don't don't be mad but are you ready oh no it's just it's in shambles it's in pieces there's two headsets so all i tried to do basically was take this thing here okay that's the part that's fucking broken here and i just wanted to replace turns out after taking this whole thing apart i go to take this apart okay just simply just take this screw out and then that screw on the other side then take this one and then just screw it on there brand new well it just so happens that this one is stripped to fuck it's an extremely stripped screw. If you don't know what a stripped screw is, I mean, you should, but it's basically when the threading and the top of the screw are all just so beat the fuck up that it just basically spins in there. And no matter how many times you screw it, it is not coming out unless you use like a drill or you use some sort of like easy out. You need like special tools for this shit. Back at my old job, there was a million times where I've had to get these stripped screws out. And I would normally do them by force, okay? I didn't give a fuck. I was sitting here, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it by force. And then I took a closer look at my headset and realized that it's actually in worse shape than I initially had thought. There is a wire here that's sticking out on this side, okay? So if I were to take some sort of drill to it or some sort of like power screw thingy or any special tool to like just try to force this thing out, I have a possibility of just completely ruining the headset, period. So I didn't bother with that and I just said... Fuck it, dude. Just fuck it. What if I were to rebuild the other one and then take the sound system out of this one and then put it into that? Sounds like way too much work. I'm just, I would rather just keep taping this motherfucker. <laughs> I also experienced a little, an accident, a little whoopsie. So recently I'm going to talk about this again and there's going to be people sitting in the chat. The time that I talked about where my Twitch chat name was changed to, from Jev FFA to just Jev, there was like hundreds of people just sitting in the chat, just talking, waiting for me to stream when I already clearly said I wasn't going to do it right away. But people were just sitting in there anyway, just to see, I guess, if I would come along with which, I mean, I did, so it worked. Very recently, I think it was two days ago, I ended up getting a partnership on Twitch. The reason I got the partnership was mainly so people were able to adjust the uh, the quality settings on their streams. Because I remember when I had a really shitty computer and I would try to like watch like little live streams and stuff of my friends back on like when it was Justin TV and shit. I would try to adjust the quality of it and everything and I just couldn't because I didn't have a partnership so that I could actually switch between the qualities. So I was just stuck either A, lagging or it looking like shit. So I got it mainly for that reason. Like I don't even know what I'm gonna actually do with like people that do hit the subscribe button be honest because I, I don't really know what I'm gonna give you. I, I didn't really have any other plan. I just kind of wanted the little adjuster thingy. So I might actually have to come up with something to do. I don't know, like subscriber games or something during the live streams. I don't fucking know. But a lot of people are kind of like, well, dude, just stream now, right? But the thing is, I don't have everything set up. Like, okay, it was a name change. Now I got the little adjuster thingy. Now what's the problem? Well, now I don't have all the graphics that I want for it. It doesn't look that pretty. When I live stream, I want it to be fucking beautiful. I don't want anything to be going wrong. I don't want to have to sit there and stress out about it. I want everything to look pretty, okay? Like a pretty stream, for example, just look at the biggest streams, okay? Just look underneath. You got the graphics where it's like, here are all of my social medias. Here is my biography. I need shit like that down there, like with cute little pictures of me. Cute little cartoon jebs just sitting there like, bio. That is what I need now. Once I get that, 
It'd be beautiful. On top of like any stuff on like the screen too, like an overlay or whatever. And I don't want anything too crazy either. I hate cluttered overlays. I don't know what the fuck I'm even talking about. Anyway, last night I was sitting there just adjusting things because I was like, all right, well, I'm probably going to stream pretty soon. Maybe. I'm just going to add maybe in there because I have no idea what's going to happen. On live streams, it is a big deal to have the correct settings for things, especially volumes, okay? So on my stream, I obviously wanted to hear myself. I wanted the game sound not to be too loud to where it's too overbearing for me or anybody that's in a call with me. I want my voice to be either equivalent or slightly higher to the people that are actually in the calls and then music volume and things like that. I adjusted all these volumes around, okay? And I use OBS, open broadcast software or something. And the only way for me to actually be able to test these settings and sounds and things to see how everything sounds is if I were to actually just record it, okay? And you can record on OBS. Now on OBS, it has a thing where it says start live streaming, start recording, start preview and stuff and stuff like that. It all just like looks the same basically. There's no like distinguished thing. When you look at it very quickly, it's not very distinguishable. So at one point I was like, okay, I need to check to see if this sounds okay. And I hit start record, okay? And I'm sitting there and I went to go like make some noises, turn some volumes up here and there to see how they sound. If I should like turn it up any higher, or any lower from like a certain level. And I realized as I was looking down there that I had actually hit live stream. I would say I, don't, I was only doing it for maybe like 10 or 15 seconds. I, I accidentally hit the live stream button. And since I had over like 60,000 followers on Twitch, it notified all of the people that were following that stream. And I ended the stream and people just started flooding into the stream. So since they started flooding into the stream, I'm sitting there like, oh fuck, like what do I do? Like I, I'm not ready to live stream. Like it's so bad. Like I'm such a bitch about this. I didn't know what to do. So I basically just, I, I hid, I ran away. I changed the title of the live stream to it was an accident, LOL, and left it there. Telling people in the chat, like it was an accident. I'm sorry. There's no live stream, this, that, and the other. I had my moderator say it over and over and over again. It was just like a huge deal. Like people were like messaging me. I got like 20 fucking DMs like, dude, mod me in your chat. And I'm like, I'm not even live. Or they're going like, dude, I only see a black screen or it says you're offline or something. There's something wrong with your stream. And I'm like, this is why I couldn't stream in the first place. Because the amount of people that are coming to me telling me that what is wrong and this, that, and the other, it stresses me out. It freaks me the fuck out. If you tell me a volume is too high, I'm going to tilt instantly. You tell me some sound is off or is there some weird pixels. I'm going to fucking blow. It's just so nerve wracking. So yeah, I had an act. I should be pretty used to accidents, to be honest. I mean, I was one. That was a dark joke. Maybe someone laughed.